I began to lose myself in working at the facility. After a News 4 investigation highlighted claims of medical mistreatment of inmates at Trousdale Turner Correctional Center, a former correctional officer spoke with our call for action reporter, Carice Jackman. Yeah, and Carice, he believes the issues at the facility really boiled down to uh, understaffing. Yeah, Tracy Lauren, not only does he believe it comes down to understaffing, but so does a lawyer who filed a lawsuit on behalf of families with loved ones there. I was there just for nine months. That was enough time for former correctional officer Trayton Latimer to say he can't take it anymore. CoreCivic needs more officers, like flat out. Latimer says understaffing not only puts officers at risk, but delayed medical care to inmates. Most of the time we'd have an inmate come to us like, hey, I've got this or this or this going on. Literally the only thing we could do was here, man, fill out this sick call slip. And once they filled out the slip, they gave it to us. We had to take it and put it in a box. And whenever they came to collect that, I don't know. The thing that you need to understand about Core Civic is that they do not care when inmates in their custody die. Attorney Daniel Horwitz represents families of loved ones at Trialsdale. In a new lawsuit, he calls the center severely understaffed and Tennessee's most dangerous and notorious prison. Inmates are dying in their care who should not be. These are preventable deaths, and they are uh, they would not be occurring if Core Civic cared enough to staff its facilities. But the problem is they don't, and nobody is making them. The lawsuit highlights one state audit report, saying Trialsdale Turner Correctional Center faced a variety of staffing issues, from not enough staff to failing to follow staffing pattern guidelines, and even leaving critical posts unstaffed. These are not just complaints and they're not just allegations, right? There are state audits that are filed on file. They are public documenting the number of class A incidents at this facility, which is higher than any other facility in the state. News 4 investigates reached out to Core Civic. They told us in a lengthy statement that both public and private correctional facilities in the state have faced staffing challenges. And even as they focus on addressing those challenges, they work to meet or exceed their daily staffing patterns, which are designed to ensure the safety of the facility. They also said licensed medical staff are on site and available 24 seven. Latimer cares about not just the workers, but the people serving time. He hopes by speaking out, change will come. But even if you are in that type of environment, because of the mistakes that you've made in your life, that doesn't mean that you have any reason to be treated unhumanely. And that's, that's from inmates and officers. Core of Civic also tells me over the past two years, they've strengthened their employee recruiting efforts by significantly increasing wages and bonuses. Now to see their full statement, head to our website, WSMV.com. Lauren. Carice, good work. And if you have a tip for Carice or any of the members of our Investigates team, here's how you can reach them by phone or by email. All this information is also found on our website uh, and our News 4 app. Well,